Thug, thug. What's good, Anxious Feet Squad? If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button because it doesn't cost you guys a dime. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can know every time Anxious Feet posts a video. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell as well. Well, currently, I'm coming at you guys. I know it's been a couple of days. If you follow me on regular social media, um, there is a death in my family. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm coming at you guys today with a reaction. You know, anytime I see an up-and-coming show, even if it's something, you know, that I feel like it's just starting off, I'm going to come to you and react to get you guys to go out and take a look, especially when it's... Uh, a show you know a show that i really feel that we can relate to directly some of us probably can't but some of the situations even if you're not rich which is what most of this you know the the whole plot is you still can kind of relate to people not wanting to see you make it big or not want you to have what they have so we're going to go ahead and go into this reaction of the black hamptons first off the title i've been watching the title back and forth and i had decided um that I was gonna have it go ahead and give it a shot and watch it. So I stayed up late, I wanna say Saturday night, and I looked at the all four episodes. There are currently only four episodes. I'm gonna say this. There are rumors that are saying the show has been canceled already before season two and it has been cut right here. I also have Googled and seen that the next episode will be on the 21st. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna wait it out. I'll come back again and I'll say something about it. If it continues on, I'll come on and say something about the next episode. But currently, we're going to we're gonna speak as if it's still going on. Because I'm not for sure which way it's going right now. Because there's so many different articles about what's happening. But I did go and read the comments on the cancellation. And the people are for the show. So, the fact that it's being canceled is just, you know, it's a BET Plus show. It's a BET show. You can catch it on BET Plus. So, the fact that they're even doing what they're doing is kind of throwing me off. Because so many people want to see the show. But we're going to say um, it's the Britons versus the Johnsons. Um, the Britons, you can tell, have been alone, been, you know, around a while. Um, the mother is pretty much running the show right now. What I found out later, I thought the dad had died originally when I was looking at it. But what I found out later is the father actually um, was in jail on some type of charges. Um, they have not elaborated on that too much, but whatever it was, the dad has been wiped clean of all charges and he's about to be released. But that is not before, that is at the very end of episode four. Um, the opening was, there's some piece of property, for whatever reason, she stated that it belonged to her family previously, Miss Britton. She did not want anyone else to have it. So she goes head to head with the Johnson family who um, have pretty much built. It wasn't passed to them. They built everything that they have. Uh, her husband and her wife, the wife stood by her husband while he built the company. He's a pretty smart guy. He has a lot of, I want to refer to him as being um, like the Bill Gates of the show. He creates things and they intend to go, you know, up. Um, also, there's Black China in the show. Uh, Miss Britton has two sons. Who we all later find out oh my god it's like so much that I could tell you about this show but everyone knows how I am about my reaction I do not like to give away everything because you guys are gonna have to watch the show and I want you guys to be excited about what you watch so I don't want to tell you everything but I will say this her sons are very interesting you're gonna be mind blown by her older son very so much she has a daughter-in-law who I'm already vibing with like I mean I'm vibing with her because she's like bitch if you trying to get me I'm most definitely about to get you and she has gotten a girl previously already with a couple of other things so episode four really blew me back we also find out that um I'm trying to see his name he also played in all the queen's men at the very beginning he was her business partner that was killed in the first episode um he's in there as the husband of a Briton, which is a he's a he's a, a cousin she's a cousin of a Briton. so she's not like mother daughter but she's definitely in the immediate family and they definitely believe 
and being loyal when it comes to the family. Now, she's trying to put pressure on the Johnsons because from what I can tell, she's used to having her way and the Johnsons are not willing to give it to her. And they have Elise Neal, very good actress, very, very good actress. Um, and also Miss Vanessa Williams uh, Caraway. Baby, listen, they brought it. And when I say Elise Neal really brought it because she checked Miss Britton ass, which is played by Vanessa Williams Calloway, she checked your ass and let you know that she wasn't there for the bullshit and whatever bullshit you were trying to serve, she let you know which door you could take it out of. And I liked that. Um, I also, um, Black China is a character in there. Uh, Black China is Miss Johnson's little sister who always kind of leans on the sister for all kind of financial support. Um, pretty much she's looking for a come up, but she ends up running into the younger Britain's son and they find something different. She's loving him, he's loving her, but the mother right out peeps, she's a broke bitch and she just straight up tells her son, listen, if you fucking with her, you can't have what you got going over here. I'm cutting off all your shit. You're not, it's not gonna be nothing. You're not gonna have no money, nothing, if you continue to fuck with this trash. I want y'all to go over. I want to say it was episode three or two. Miss Britton gave a read to Black China, baby. She said, "You don't come in my in my living room, my dining room, and want to sit in the at my lunch, my breakfast table after you slept with my son in one night." She was like, "You don't come and sit at my breakfast table." He told he he basically called. I'm gonna say this. Miss Britton basically called Black China a stray dog literally caught that girl a straight out like you just bring it basically she said you bring a trash in from the street that's supposed to be a late night hike fuck that hoe let her get the fuck off like you trying to bring this bitch up in here and feed her with me i don't eat with the hell i don't eat with little class man he called she caught that dress that girl had on a rag dress i'm assuming it's, she's so high up on the food chain she talking rainbow rack like bitch you came up in my house with a 12.99 rainbow dress on and some 500 dollars shoes and you think you're gonna sit at your uh, my table you making it try to look good but bitch i read the cheap on you and you can't sit at the table with me that's the vibe she gave black china so i definitely want you guys to get this show a chance it is a black it is um weber i want to say it's no, Chris Webber is the basketball player. And I fucking looked at it before I even came on and did the reaction. And I can't think. Carl Webber. He is an author. I didn't know that at first. Um, my guy actually told me he was an author and I went and Googled it. That show is based off a book that he wrote. So I'm assuming he wants to bring his books to the screen. And he's doing a wonderful job at it. I don't know the days, guys. I'll come back and let you guys know. Because like I say, the show is new. And it says the 21st is the next day that it comes on so that means it's skipping a week because there's nothing coming on this week but what it does is it gets you two episodes a week if you remember correctly all the queen's men was doing that as well they were giving you two episodes a week which leads to a five week run so um they i don't they don't explain why there's no show this week it just says the 21st so we're gonna go on with that that's like a wednesday i believe of next week so Tomorrow, if we don't get another episode, we're going to go ahead with the 21st, which is a Wednesday, and say they're going to give us more episodes. If they don't, we're going to start sending emails to BET about grabbing our attention with these shows and not giving them the full credit or giving them their full episode that they deserve, because I feel that they deserve it. So remember that we're going for the date that I said, and you guys can tune in to the Black Hamptons on BET+. Plus. And as far as we know now, it comes on on Wednesdays. And any show that has something that's already pre-timed, you know it's after midnight at, at any time, any given time on the 21st. But you can go watch the four episodes that they already currently have on BET+. Plus. I promise you guys will not be disappointed. And one other thing I have to ask for you guys is... Please hit your like button on the way out. Subscribe to your girl because there's some stuff that's going to be happening here on HSP Chronicles and you guys are not going to want to miss that. I love you all. All the subscriptions. We're on the road to 100. I'm at 96. I feel like when you break the ice of 100, you're really about to get shit done. So getting to that thousand that I need to get to to be monetized is going to be nothing once I break that hundred. I love you all that have subscribed. Trust me, you guys will not be disappointed. V is going to entertain you guys, and you guys have a good day.